How's it going guys? Linux Daily back with a new series on the channel. We were gonna start the series. It's called um Mastering the Linux Command Line. Now the first part of the um when I first recorded this uh, video, the audio at the very beginning was a little distorted, it didn't sound good at all, so this is all post production pretty much right here. So with all that being said, let's get into the video this is video one of the series we're going to be navigating the file system um, let's get out of this This is a clean install of Ubuntu or Ubuntu however you want to say it but this is a new just clean installation that we'll be using throughout the series um, to begin things off here, we are going to go into a terminal, and that's where we will start. So we got the um, terminal booted up here, let's full screen that. So navigating the uh, file system, you usually, um, to view the files in a particular directory, just type in ls. So if you go to the manual pages of ls, just do man ls, and um, wait for it to load. This is brand new install, so it might take a little bit to load. Looks like we got something down here. Software updater. Not going to worry about that right now. But ls lists directory contents. Pretty self-explanatory. ls, short for list. ls-a. Um, when you have a file or folder directory with a dot in front of it, it is a hidden directory, so ls won't view it. You have to do ls-a to get that. Um, author, escape, all this other stuff you can use to get the output just how you want. But typically you use ls ls-a or ls-a with the L. Now with L, um, if we go down here, use a long listing format. So, um, I don't want to no, cancel that. I'm just going to quit. And then um, I just typed in clear to clear the content. So if you have a whole bunch of stuff, you just do... um clear and that's how you clear so with that being said ls you see um you have that but let's make a file like um that i'll get to that command in a little bit so when you type in ls it doesn't appear here so ls that's a if we look right here we have dot Test. That is a hidden folder. No, not a hidden folder. That is a hidden text document. Hidden file, whatever you want to call it. And then you have bash logout, bash rc. And then there is no bash history yet because we haven't really made a history quite yet. But your dot bash rc is your configuration file for bash. We will get to that in a later video. So... With that being said, we use cd to change directories, so let's go to our desktop. We do an ls there, there's nothing on our desktop. So let's do a make dir to make a directory. Make and then dir is short for directory. Let's just call it um, video one dir. Do an ls and it is there. The change into that directory we do that make sure you use um the caps cap um it's hard to explain linux is very um caps sensitive so if you do cd video dir it is not going to know what you're doing but if you type in video dir um, what am I doing? Oh, I'm already in the directory. It is cap sensitive, so if you do, it doesn't know what you're talking about, but when you actually 
have the caps, hopefully. Oh, I forgot the one. But it will navigate you to that directory. So make sure you use your caps on that. Now CD with two dots will bring you back a directory. So if you see that we are in our video one dot um, dir, click that once and if you do PWD, present working directory or print working directory, it's personal preference on what you want it to be. But you type that and we're at our desktop. Now if we do CD dot dot once more, PWD, slash home slash Linux daily. So there is that. Now we figured out how to make a directory and make a file. So how do you remove a file? So let me do an ls dash a. We still have that dot test right here. So rm is short for remove. So remove dot test will remove that file. Um, yeah, but if you try to rm a directory, um, where are we right now? Let's go to the desktop and then our video one, dir. You see it, it is a uh, directory. So how do you remove that? rmdir is how you would do that. So if you do an ls now, there is nothing there. You need it with a ls-l, which will bring us to a long listing directory, which looks like that. You have file permissions, which we will get to it in a different video, but that is that. So we did cd, touch, mkdir to make a directory, rm, rmdir, and all of these have their own options. So if you do man touch, um, it'll, it has its own options. You could look at these on your own as well by just typing in man to find the manual pages and whatever command you want. So like man cd. Well, I guess that one doesn't have it. Yeah, it does not have one because it's pretty much plain and simple. So with that being said, desktop, um, make dir um, one. So we are pretty far um, So we are pretty far into a file system right now. So if I wanted to get back to Linux daily, You put a bunch of dots. Actually, I don't think that works on this distribution. But I used to be able to um, make that and it will um, bring me back. I guess that doesn't work anymore for some reason. And then in the Z shell, if you type in dot dot, it will bring you back. But this is bash, so that doesn't quite work. So clear the screen here so we made a file with touch but there are actually other options to make files which um, in video 2 the next one after this we will get get that into detail and actually using this method but to make a file um, let's go to documents there's nothing here, so let's do clear. Um, with that being said, let, let's create a file with um, the nano command. Nano is actually a text editor. So nano test file. And we just do that. And that created the file. So that is a neat way to do it as well if you don't want to use touch you could just do um nano and whatever file you want 
Now, of course, the remove it rm test file. And I'll just do a clear to clear the screen. So, that was pretty much the first video of the new series, Mastering the Linux Command Line. This will replace pros and cons and top five for a little while. I will bring those back, but I need to come up with some more ideas and get a schedule for that going. But, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will catch you in the next one.